Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be watching a game between Floris and Randy on Into Battle. Which I don't know if I've gone over before. I don't think so. so I'll look over it briefly. So, just first off, Floris going for light vehicles while Randy goes for jump bots. And this map, like I said, is not one I don't think I've covered a lot. So there's, as you can see, a decent metal concentration along the north side and south side. The start boxes are basically just west and east, but this is generally a player start. Anyway, so there's a concentration over the northwest, over the southeast, and the center, these ridge sections here have a bit of metal as well. There is no high metal spot. Everything is worth about two metal. So it's really just a matter of the number of metal spots. There's no particularly strong metal spot. Wait, Randy going for starting with early pyro scout, which is pretty typical, and early freaker as well. So not going too heavily for scouting. While Floris, on the other hand, does have a dart that's coming in there to see what Randy's up to and getting a scorcher afterwards to try to get rid of this pyro. The slasher already in place, however, that will do a much better job against the pyro. And the pyro moving in will probably be jumping around to get yep jumps around to get away from that. Unfortunately for it does die, but fortunately for Randy, he does know exactly what Floris is up to. Floris getting some scorches as well. On top of that, which I already mentioned, and Puppy for Randy, interesting. Getting rid of the dart. That's not a bad choice, though admittedly the puppy does have as it's slower. The dart is one of the faster units in the game. I think it's the I don't think it's the fastest unit in the game, but at 5.1 speed, it's pretty close. Randy building up some more metal extractors. He does have his entire base setup. Well, minus one here, but he does have another metal extractor on a small hill. While Flores, on the other hand, has more metal extractors. Oh, some reclaim, but he has fewer metal extractors overall. Randy right now considerably stronger on economy. Coming out with another pyro. Will probably be attacking from here, but we'll see. Doesn't count the dart. No, not just barely. Flores does manage to dodge that pyro. Though Randy is aware from the looks of it. Yes, he is a... Well, vaguely where there was radar coverage of that, so he doesn't know that there is a dart going around here. He does barely see it, so he knows the dart is coming around. On the other hand, we have Floris, who just now sees there is a freak around the hill. He knows that there's something up on that hill. He can deal with that when he gets to it. But right now, we, what the? Oh, weird. Okay. Anyway, so he knows that there probably is something up this hill. You may not check it though, this hill is not easy. It can be vehicle pathed up, but it's not easy to do. It's kind of slow. Over Flores is coming in with a strong Scorcher Force. He's gonna try to get rid of as much as he can of Randy's base. Gonna get rid of the Pyro immediately. Going for a bit of a factory dive. Actually, that factory is gonna go down right now. There is nothing stopping the factory from dying. And down it goes. The Scorcher is being moved wisely out of position though. One of them unfortunately not far enough. And that Scorcher there that is a hero scorcher. Actually, all three of those are hero scorchers. Gonna get rid of the rest of Randy's economy and really put Randy in a tough spot. Darn near impossible, really, to try to deal with this. This is gonna be problematic. So Randy does lose his factory, does lose some of his metal extractors. I think Flores might have been better served dealing with the metal extractors directly. Does kill another one with the dart, but that scorcher could have probably killed this metal extractor and then maybe weaved around a bit and killed that metal extractor over there. Randy going for a rebuild on the jump plant. He is not going to let take that line down. Immediately rebuilding the factory. As of course he should. But Flores does have a bit of a chance to build more units. He can set himself up a bit. And from here, Randy... Well, he does have a bit of scouting going around. Just making sure Flores can't easily take some of these metal extraction points. He's... Kind of behind. He really is behind. He's ahead economically, though. But Flores is ahead militarily. Not sure if that lead is going to be a big deal, though. Flores actually marching his commander into Randy's base directly. Not sure if Flores is aware exactly how much Randy has rebuilt at this point, though. Admittedly, it's not much. And a Scorcher coming in here. It's going to die. I think the Solar Collector, just... Solar Collector will explode. Will that Scorcher die? No, it won't. It'll take a bit of damage, but not very much. And this Pyro here just about dead as well. Randy's commander going to be coming around. Light Particle Beam on a support commander, so it will get rid of the Scorcher before any other damage is done, but that's a lot of damage. At this point, Randy has 8 metal, though admittedly with reclaim is going to even out somewhat. 8 metal plus 
Well, two on here, four from the commander, another two on this hill. That is quite a small amount, really, all things considered. Floris coming in with more slasher line. Just got a backup line of scorches behind, or a couple of scorches behind it, and four being built on top of that. The slash line, and three more coming behind the slash. There we go, that's the backup. So more pyros coming in here, and Floris just applying pressure and not stopping. That's exactly what he needs to do. Putting more and more pressure on these slashers, getting rid of one of these lotuses. Needs to get rid of the jump jet plant again, though. He has the scorch to do it. He just needs to actually get rid of that. Leaving that alive is going to be a big problem if he does so. And Floris, let's see, he does have vision. He has vision of the plant. He knows it exists. He knows he can target it. He does see the Rainy's commander is there, and he might start trying to ta attack it as well. His own commander coming in, and that's going to be a bit of a problem for Floris, but he needs to get that in there. And then Randy's commander is coming into range of the slashers. Scorch should go around, though, and actually deal with things. There they go. Scorch is moving out, and they will start dealing with this stuff, start to dive out a bit. Randy, however, not actually losing his commander. Floris, however, is putting his commander in a lot of risk, and Randy does have, thanks to Reclaim, He's still ahead in metal, actually. Floris has not been getting a lot of metal. He's been pushing very hard with, surprisingly, factories. Not actually pushing out with masons. He's not been expanding with masons. He doesn't have enough metal to make the masons worthwhile where he's using them right now. So it's a bit of a shame. Especially since he's lost most of those slashers and his commander marching in there. Randy's commander still going to be taking a bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Losing his radar, that is a bit of a problem. Randy does have line of sight, however, and Slash is coming in once again to try to get rid of the factory, but not focusing on the factory, focusing on other stuff in general. Not focusing on the factory. And unfortunately for Floris, losing all the units, he really should have focused on the factory. He started to get the middle strategy, started to get the Lotus. That factory was taking a lot of damage, though. But another five Scorchers coming in here. And more on top of that, the puppy over in the north, or the center west has been removed. Presumably by one of these Scorchers. One of these Scorchers is heavily damaged, so I'm guessing is that one. This one right here, Hero Scorcher, I think. Anyway, Floris does... He is going to be able to get rid of that Pyro. As more Scorchers come in and should be able to finish this off, I think. Randy, he's used the Ball's Reclaim. He has a lot of excess metal. Not a lot of power for spending it, though. Gets rid of another... Oh, losing all these Scorchers to the Pyros. That is not a good move. The Pyro managing to retreat away and kill off both of those Scorchers just by having them burn to death. Floris charging with his commander. This is probably not the best move. His commander is not likely to survive this. It will be able to go to the factory, though. Or will it? Yes, it... No! What? It just barely does not get rid of the factory. How did Floris let that go? That factory is still alive. It got down to one health. Pretty much one health. And now being repaired back up. Flores can still kill it, though. He still has a chance. He still can push in these Scorchers and get rid of it. But he has to do that right now. And pushing in more Scorchers. He's continuing to build up. While Randy continuing to build up his Pyros. And this factory isn't going to go down. It should go down pretty soon. No! The Scorcher getting distracted once again. And Flores' commander going to go down. Down it goes. That is a huge loss. Flores' entire military expenditure... Well, expedition, I should say. Down the drain. Throwing everything away, just about to go to the factory too. If he got rid of the factory, that would have been huge. I think they probably would have sealed it, but unfortunately, it does not. And Floris throws in the towel, realizing he's given Randy all the metal he needs for the rest of the game. Well, given that the game is over, obviously. So, that is that. I will have another game for you guys shortly. Once again, thank you to Randy for uploading the replays in light of the replay system not working. It apparently should be back up tomorrow, or that's the time frame for fixing it. So, next week, we'll have no problems. Saturday, of course, is the tournament, the 1v1 tournament, which will be about 12 hours earlier than my normal schedule. It'll be at 2 a.m. Pacific time, so yes, I'm going to be basically coming home from work and going straight to bed. But I'll we'll get to that in more detail after the next game, which is going to be Randy versus Cube on Vitra. So stay tuned for that.